All right, I'm going to show you how to install your push buttons and your selector switches in here. And again, I mentioned that these are bayonet mounts. And if you look inside here, you'll find that you put them along. And if you get them right, they'll twist lock in. Okay, and you have to get that twist lock into the right place. And I'm going around trying to make sure that it, it is right before I put it in. And you can see the put it in, twist it like a bayonet, and it locks into place. Now what you do is you have to start with these screws here fully retracted. So make sure they're out. Get your screwdriver and back them up and everything so that they don't get in the way. And they go back here. I'm going to put this sideways so you can see it. Come along here. You put this in. You do your twist lock and it holds it there, okay? Now what you can do is you come on the back and tighten up the uh, screw, okay? You just tighten up the screw, do the top a little bit, then do the bottom. Okay, they're a very, for, very coarse screw, so they tighten up quite, quite fast. And you can see it straightening out here. Okay, you see it getting nice and straight. And one of the things you want to do is also make sure that it's level. I don't have mine level, so I've got to loosen it up a little bit here. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, I'm going to loosen it up a little bit. Straighten it up there, make it level, and then I can go and tighten it up, tighten that up, okay, then I come around and check here, that looks good, look on the front, it's flush on the front, everything's good. Then what I do is I need to go and get my contact block, and again, I've got two little Two little dimples showing up here. I've got one here and one here. And those line up with the holes here and here. Okay. Okay, on the contact block, you've got two dimples here, two protrusions, right there and right there, and those line up back here with the little holes in your con in your switch block right there. Okay, so line those up, get them set up properly, go in here and screw that in. Okay, and you get your contact block mounted, and you're good to go. That's all ready to go. I need to tighten that up a little bit more, but now your contact block and your switch and everything is mounted. You'll see the diagram on here and the layout, and we're going to go red, green, red, green, and then over here we'll have the selector switch, limit switch, limit switch, and then indicator light, indicator light. So let me back up again here, get the whole thing in view. Red, green, red, green, selector switch, limit switch, limit switch, red indicator, red indicator. Then down here, you're going to have your uh, power in, strain relief, and a couple of chase nipples here and here for the uh, wires coming up to your limit switch. Okay. And you see the, and it's all pre-punched with holes in it, so you should not drill any holes in this. Every hole is where it should be. If you find yourself missing a hole, you're doing something wrong, so contact me immediately.